Let's ultrasound! On today's edition, we're in the Breast Ultrasound Pathology Gallery, and we're talking papillomas. A breast papilloma is a solid mass of ductal origin, and it can be either benign or malignant. In the female breast, they're most commonly benign, and in the male breast, they're more likely to be malignant. And papillomas are the most common cause of bloody nipple discharge. And they're also most common in women ages 30 to 35. The ultrasound appearance of a papilloma is a solid mass within a duct or a cyst. It's a hypoechoic mass, and the characteristic ultrasound feature is hypervascularity. These are usually small, less than 2 centimeters in size, and most commonly they're found in the subareolar region of the breast. They can be solitary, meaning there's just one of them, which is most common, or there can be multiple, which is known as papillomatosis. There's two types of papillomas, intracystic and intraductal. First, let's talk about intracystic papillomas. This is a papilloma which obstructs a milk duct, which causes the fluid to back up in that milk duct, creating a cyst around the papilloma. You'll notice a cyst with a hypoechoic, solid, hypervascular mass inside. And this can be a solitary solid mass or multiple solid masses, and you'll find them along the walls of the cyst. And this is going to be a complex mass. It's going to have both solid and cystic components to it, and it's going to be heterogeneous. An intraductal papilloma is a solid mass which arises from the ductal epithelium. This is the lining of that milk duct, and it projects into the duct lumen. And this is the anechoic inner compartment of the milk duct. So you're going to see a milk duct with a solid, hypervascular, hypoechoic mass within the milk duct. 